Vanessa's here. How are you? Florence here. Andre, Madeline. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you guys doing? Woohoo! We actually have a quite a nice day today. Look at this. Look at outside of our window. Ah, not too bad. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> bon dia, Vanessa. Florence saying. Anyway, how are you guys doing? We are, this is our last day as single people. We'll be married tomorrow. We'll tie the knot. Are you excited, Steve? Woo! Oh my goodness. Let's practice, let's practice, let's practice. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Listen, everybody. I feel like I can keep a straight face when that happens. I feel like I'll be laughing. The same. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous for the wedding. Um, I'm a bit excited for the wedding. It's a lot of things to do. You guys know I've done an incredible amount of work planning this whole thing myself. Mm, what? <laughs> yes. Congratulations, did. Steve and Ivana, later hey, skater thanks, from Mama Mama Dolly. Dolly. Later skater. We're gonna make a later skater emoji. My mom has decided this is a new catchphrase of the Jelly Warriors. <laughs> later skaters. Hey, bon dia, bon dia, everyone. Will be a simple live stream today. We are getting married tomorrow. I gotta cut my hair. I gotta shave my face. I gotta get a suit ready. I gotta. We gotta go get some more decorations from the park. Last minute stuff. Steal some more bushes. We've got some <laughs> uh, things over here happening. Yvonne is doing a nice job uh, making some name tags for people. Ooh, so beautiful. Ooh. Come on, this is our half the table is YouTube and half the table is wedding. We've sort of taken over my mom's table here. But uh, very excited for tomorrow. Have you written your vows, Ivana? Um, I have a draft. Ooh, a draft. <laughs> I've decided to go straight from the heart. Ooh, I like that. No, 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 I'm gonna write it out, but uh, I have not wrote, written it out yet. Should but we I... bring a paper to the front? Where are we gonna put the paper? What do you say during vows? Do, do you have to say, is, is vows when you say, I <clears throat> vow to always do this? And I vow, or is it just like a, just a speech? Both combined. Both combined, okay. If it's just a speech, I can do a nice thing, hopefully. I feel <laughs> nervous, because I just, I'd rather just tell you privately. I don't want to tell everybody, all my family and friends. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen, it is not going to change much in our relationship. We've been together 11 years, but it's still something new. It's still a, a covenant before everyone, before God. It's still a, oh, my gosh. I'm still nervous, you know? <laughs> Oof. What are you nervous about? Nervous about, I'm nervous about, just embarrassed, I'm being embarrassed, you know? Oh, what do you mean embarrassed? I have to tell everybody in front of, in front of, you know? Oh, it's very, it's very nerve wracking. Oh, everyone's looking at me. Oh gosh, oh gosh. You know? Yeah. Hopefully they'll be looking at you. That's my, that's my idea. No, us. Oh gosh. I don't want to be the center of attention. <laughs> oh gosh. Listen, are you guys on the chat marriage? Let us know. You give guys, us your you give us your married? wedding advice, guys. Give are us you guys your... single? Are you guys looking for someone? If you're married, let us know the tips and the tricks. <laughs> I asked my parents. I asked my dad, "How do you stay married? How do you? What's the secret?" He said, "You should just say yes, dear. Yes, dear." So not you. My mom said, "Communication." <laughs> my mom said, "Don't go to bed angry." Okay, interesting. Good one. Let us know your marriage advice. Ivana and I are 11 years, but not uh, not married yet. I will not give any advice. Marriage is not my <laughs> thing. Fair. No pressure. The next chapter of Jet Lag Warriors is about to begin. Marriage and then baby time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty excited, actually. After the, so the ceremony is half an hour. Yes. You know, you've been embarrassed for half an hour. And then you sit down and have lunch. Everybody, your friends are all there. Put some music on. After that, it'll be a nice thing. But the first half an hour is gonna be red face, sweating, <laughs> you know? Poof. We'll see, guys. It's gonna be everything you hope for and so much more from Madeline. Thank Aww, you, Madeline. Aw, that's so nice. <laughs> uh, single and happy, so can't give any advice from Zaki. But you're married already, really. True. Here we go, Andre, married for almost 10 years. Wow. Communication is key to listen to each other. Okay, Ivana, I'm listening. That'll be in my vows. I vow to always listen. 
Let's let's crowdsource my vows. Everyone, give me some advice for what to say in the vows. I'll take everyone's <laughs> comments and I'll make a vow <laughs> strictly out of comments. Strictly. Out we of can crowdsource the vows. Maybe not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, everyone says communication is key. That's the most common answer from people we ask. So, let's mm -hmm. talk, Ivana. Let's talk about our feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to change my last name after? If you'd like. Would you do? do you would care? you? I would, I would like you to, but it would not be, I would not force you to. I would just gently encourage with good communication and good. Is this happening? Is this like a, not a trend, but a tradition that happens all over the world? Do the women take over the husband's last name? I think it's happening less and less. More and more people are not doing it. Or is it mostly like in Canada? He, Florence says you'll be sweating in winter. Good advice, don't get married in July. True. <laughs> My shirt would be drenched. I'm in Brazil now from Hi, Jess. Jess. Cool. How are you doing, Jess? In, in Romania, Romania yes. yes. Double barrel name for Ivana. That's quite fashionable too. Oh, you could be We Will Greg. We Will Greg. Ooh. My wife has my name and she likes it. Ooh. Ooh. I would like to be one family name because then the kids have one family name. This, that's one really, family name. That's really. Would you take over my last name? No, 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 Ivana. This is a new thing. That would be a whole new idea. I, I just thought of this, actually. Why is it the, the men are the, the, they carry on the family line, like mm -hmm, the last mm -hmm. name of the family. But actually the women are the ones who give birth. It seems like unfair, you know? I think it's a really old thing from thousands of years ago because the man was the one working, getting money. So it's like he was the leader. Mm, okay. Nowadays it's changed because both people work and sometimes Sometimes a man stays home and the woman works. It's now it's less traditional. But this is an ancient tradition. I could understand if you left the name thing behind. Hmm. Although it could be nice to have one last name. Right. Great. Strong name. I Great. like your last name. Ooh, good compliment. <laughs> All of my cousins, it takes over their mother's last name. Really? Yeah. The husband took her name? No, but the kids. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Also, Ken, I have friends with two last names. Yeah, true. They just smush them together. All good true, options. True, true, true. All but, good options. But I think in the end, Ivana, it's up to you. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. For me, it's just a name. Would you do Would you do a shared bank account? Why not? Whoa. <laughs> can do. Also can. My goodness. In Brazil, it used to be the norm to take the name, but nowadays it's not always used. Mm. True. Choose the one that you like. Yeah, fair. Double name is the way forward, I'm telling y'all, says Zaki. Okay, maybe maybe it's right. It's nice you have the same name, the kids too. Yeah, the kids, it's nice to have one name. Because then if, if you have a different name and the kids have my last name, yeah. it's like you're an extra person that's not even in the family. <laughs> true, true. And if the Just kids have two last names, it's, it's... So much paperwork. True. I think we should do one last name. You've got no pressure. I, I respect your independence as a modern lady. I'll change my name when, the kid, when we register our kid's name. So you're gonna okay. So you're gonna hedge your bets. Everything. You're gonna <laughs> the first year. Or else we're gonna stay in Canada. I don't know. True. How long. To change the names in Canada, probably another month of paperwork. Probably another five hundred dollar fee. Yeah. <laughs> True. Okay, Candy, brother. Good. It would be nice to have one last name. You know, we are the Gregs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, can you guys hear the gentle music in the background? Is it going to be playing during our ceremony? I downloaded a one hour free YouTube music, <laughs> put it onto a USB, and then we've made a playlist of all the most cheesiest love songs after, as we're eating lunch. <laughs> Very good. Jet leg. Jet leg should be the last name. Yeah. It's not the worst idea. I like idea. it. But then, <laughs> jet leg. Mitch jet leg. <laughs> Mitch jet leg. Worst That's name a bad ever. name. That's a bad name. Mitch jet leg. <laughs> Uh, who's recording tomorrow? So Yvonne and I will make a vlog. Probably I can't say I can't say we will film everything. We'll be yeah. a little distracted. But also we will tell our friends. I'll show you. We have this camera as well as Yvonne's phone. We will put this on the table oh, and I'm gonna GoPro. Yeah. Tell people to use it. It's got wicked zoom, so it can make good footage. You can get like up close of the we'll brain, see. up close of the smile. And the flowers you know so we'll have cameras floating around and we'll get a bunch of footage no we, we should appoint 
people that we trust who will take Maybe the some people will take the lead who are more inclined to do yeah. some interesting footage. It's kind of fun job. And then we'll edit it all together. I added the name instead of changing it from Vanessa. Also right. common practice. Mm -hmm. Dual name. Yeah. It is a big commitment to lose your last name. It's like, whoa, who am I now? But Ivan, this is the spiritual connection we can have. <laughs> no pressure. Anyway, we'll figure all that stuff out. Um, are you getting a proper wedding video done? No, I'm not going to pay anyone to do it. Um, we'll do it ourselves. We'll make a vlog out of it, which will be funny. Yeah. And then, um, and then everyone else will film. We'll get their footage and edit it all together. I'm excited to edit the video. That'll be a, that'll be a good <laughs> process. Uh, big shout out to Andre. Andre. Congrats. No, Have Ralph, a Andre. beautiful day. Let's get our coffee cups and do a noro with our coffee cups. I'm excited, Ivana. Cheers. Oh, look at Ivana's ring, eh? Whoa. I got my ring. Wedding band. Got it back. Had to get it resized. Ready to rock. Bro, it's tomorrow. Bro. Tomorrow. To go do some last That's minute early. stuff. That's early. Actually, not a lot. That's soon, Ivana. I gotta shave. I gotta, I gotta get cut my, my nail done. Oh my gosh, I got so much to do. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I'll just cut my hair. Um, poof. Okay, Ivana, you ready? Mitch Jetlag. Mitch Jet sounds like sounds... Hangover name. From, <laughs> from eating too yeah, much. true. I got Mitch jet lag. That's true. That's true. Oh, the uh, unicorn my is lovely here. people. I'm on the job now. I do not have much people to come in the exchange office. Okay, unicorn's working, and on YouTube, as she's working. <laughs> Shout out to unicorn. This is the beauty of the internet. Best. We're talking to our Serbian friend who's at work. Yeah. Uh, we're about to break a uh, hundred people in the chat, which is good. It will be a simple live stream today. We're not going to go out and adventure because. We are wedding planning and we're lazy and tomorrow is the big day. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Um, secret beer in the mugs or whiskey. We're gonna go for some palinka in the cups. Some cachaca in my cup. Flask on me? No, I'm kidding. Uh, should be okay. Your last video resurfaced some painful memories of bitter melon from my childhood. <laughs> they use that so-called food in Pakistani cuisine too. Really? Uh, it tastes strong, but it's very healthy. I kind of like bitter melon. I kind of like when it When it's too. prepared I properly, like it. I sort of like it. It's a real wake up of the mouth. Uh, we got lots I more. I like bitter things. Same. I think we have some more food videos coming from around here. Mm -hmm. uh, potentially on Sunday after the wedding, we will release a video of going around Mississauga. But we might skip our Sunday video. Yeah, we might I be, think we'll we skip might be, it. It's our wedding day. We might, be, uh, we might miss a Sunday upload because we are getting <laughs> married after all. Um, shout out to Florin, Palenka, Sauji, Sauji, Norok, Norok. Are you thrilled for tomorrow? I'm for you from Unicorn. We are very excited. You couldn't sleep last night now. I had a dream last night that I went to the wedding and I didn't have time to cut my hair and at the wedding <laughs> my hair was like this. That was oh my boy. dream last night. I was like, oh my gosh. Imagine I looked at this in the wedding. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to be quick today. Um, nothing left to do really. We're gonna go get some more branches down to the river. We're gonna finish the playlist and the music, and then we're gonna cook. That's it. We're ready. We'll break some vows, probably. It seems like an important idea. Yeah. Cut your hair. Cut my hair. It takes do 10 my minutes. nails. Ooh. Oh. And then, and then, break some it. vows. Wow. An idea. You guys should make a bloopers video. Could work. Wedding bloopers? Or just bloopers in general? Just bloopers in general. We do have a lot of bloopers. Um, <laughs> we used to put them at the end of videos, like when the video is over, put yeah. the bloopers. No, actually we don't have a lot of bloopers. I don't think so. The thing is, we usually delete it on the spot. If we take a clip and it's not good, we delete it right there. Yeah, but it's not like funny thing, normally. Not too funny. If it's funny, we leave it in. Yeah. We could do a wedding bloopers video, just people being nervous yeah. and awkward at the wedding. Mm. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. Oh, we just see. I'm a bit nervous, man. I need a trick to get not nervous. You have to imagine everybody being naked. That's true, right? <laughs> oh God, that's Promise. the worst. Oh, my family is. That's not good at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, everybody. Simple live stream today. We don't have too much um, to say or show you, but we figured we'd um, go live. 
Mirel, congrats. May ah, God very bless nice. your lives in, a, in this next step. Here comes my mom. Hugs from He's Brazil. Say. Mom, Thank you. impart your wisdom on the people. I'm busy making breakfast, so I can't be part of the live stream. Canadian yeah. breakfast. Can't do everything. Can I show them your cooking? Well, it's not much cooking yet. I'm just making pancakes with a bacon and eggs and toast. Good, good breakfast. So, and we are so excited for tomorrow. We can't wait. <laughs> we can't wait. They are a beautiful couple. They're oh. perfect for each other. Oh! So I'm oh. happy they found each other. Write that down. Other. I'm going to put that in my mouth. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're very happy they found each other. And uh, they're doing their, they're living their best life. What? So it's, uh, we're, we're happy. Boom. <laughs> you, will, you will see it all, I'm sure, when they share it all. And uh, we can't wait till tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'm off to cook pancakes. Best <laughs> mom ever. <laughs> Thanks, My daughter is saying breakfast at this hour. More like brunch, maybe. A little bit of brunch. It's like yeah. 10, 15, so it's not so early. I never understood this thing of imagining people naked. Yeah, true. <laughs> it seems it seems like it makes you more nervous. Why is everyone naked looking at me? True. Uh, five star mom, says Florin. Shout out to mom. Big heart for mom. Hi, mom. Canadian thumbs up. The emoji is getting used. I think there will be a later skaters emoji coming soon. Sure. Later skaters. Uh, just relax tomorrow. Make some pictures with the family. Should be should be right, Andre. Should be pretty simple. Uh, how many guests from Florin? <clears throat> twenty-two. Yes. Very small wedding. Well, no, twenty. Twenty-two is with us. Twenty-two is with us. So twenty, 20 guests. Um. Uh, hey, uh, soon to be newlyweds and five stars plus two for mom. Wow. Hey, mom, you're a seven star mom, according to Alexander <gasps> Petru. <laughs> she said she thought she was a 10 star mom, but she'll take seven. All I've said was seven. Uh, cool. I wish you just love and health from Unicorn. Thanks, Thank Unicorn. Thank you, Unicorn. Thanks, Unicorn. We've got everything we want right here with us. Uh, I had a hundred at his wedding. Andre did. Very few for Romania. Yeah, 22 is like incredibly small wedding. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's very small. Most people do 100 or 200, I think. Yeah. My sister did 200, I think. Yes. Normal size. Um, Yvonne small and I, wedding. small size. I invited four friends. One of them can't make it. So I got three friends coming. Plus there. Plus there, plus ones. Yvonne's got two friends coming. Yeah. And then our families. In Romania, it's 200 to 600. Oh my gosh. Is the dog among the 20? So we were babysitting the dog. Yeah. The dog has been returned to his loving family. Okay. He's not part of the 20. <laughs> Uh, he was well behaved though. He would he would probably sit there no problem. Yeah. Good dog, but no more dog in the house. That was just a house guest. <laughs> My parents were babysitting, or dog sitting, I should say. Dog sitting. That's right. All right, guys. I need some uh, I need some good wedding jokes. Oh, Ivana's mom is making a wedding cake. That's good. Oh yeah, that's right. Very nice homemade wedding cake. Love it. She's probably baking right now. My mom is making breakfast. Your mom is making cake. <laughs> probably. The moms are hard at work. <laughs> True. The moms are hard at work. 20 is a very no tension wedding. Yeah, that's true. Madeline says 20 guests and 200,000 followers. <laughs> true. I'm curious how the wedding video will do. Could be interesting for people. I am going to vlog it. Like, I am going to talk to the camera and vlog. It's yeah, exciting for me. Not? Uh, might not be the most cinematic because I don't have time to get all the shots, but I'll definitely blah blah to the camera more than a few times. Right. If you guys get lucky, maybe I'll cry on camera. <laughs> Are you gonna cry at the wedding, Ivana? I don't know. Have you practiced your cry? Like, are you gonna cry dramatic? Are you gonna cry weeping? No, I didn't practice my cry. I've been practicing my cry. <laughs> what? Yeah, I've been practicing my cry. I'm gonna go dramatic, cry, a lot of shoulders. <laughs> like that. Ugly. <laughs> you want this ugly? <laughs> uh, I won't cry. I'm sure my mom will be crying. Don't bother about us. Just enjoy your wedding day. Thanks, Unicorn. This is Thanks, a unicorn. message of sheer love. You better cry, Steve. <laughs> oh gosh, I have to cry. Pressure's on. Uh, do tell about the ancient something blue tradition. We never heard of it. Oh, there's a thing in Canada where you should, when you're being married, you should have something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Yes. No idea where that came from. Yeah, where is it from? No idea. From England? I don't know where that's from, but this is the old tradition. So yes. do, we, do we have that? I have. I oh, think it's just for the girls. I'll figure it out. Something for old. women only. Oh, for women. Oh, the women need something old, new, borrowed, blue. Yes. Oh, okay, good. I got all that. You got all that? Yeah. Let's Ooh. show it in the vlog. Ooh. 
Very exciting. <laughs> uh, good. There you have it, guys. Simple live stream. It's a tradition in the U.S. Yes. too. Yeah, I think so. I don't know where it came from, though. In Romania, too. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't know that. In Romania, too. Okay. Something new. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know that. Huh. I've never been to a wedding. I might skip mine. <laughs> <laughs> Steal the wife and let people party. <laughs> that would be funny. We were thinking. Ivana and I were thinking this would be an amazing thing. If at the end of the wedding we just said, "Oh, by the way," and we just had tickets, and we're like, "We're going to the airport right now," and we just left. <laughs> that would be cool, right? The trip just began right from the day of the wedding. People normally do that. That's what people, normal yes. people do. It's funny that the most well-traveled people are the ones not going on honeymoon. Yes, <laughs> that's what normal people do. We're actually going to go... Whoa! Wedding gift from Shahulan. Oh, Shahulan. Oh Shah my gosh. Shah Thank you, Shah. Thank you, Shah. Thank you. Shah, if you can Thank come you. tomorrow. Shah, drive to Mississauga. You're, we got a table for you. It's only a six-hour drive. Yes. It's at 12.30. Wow, Shabulon. Thank you so much. Come to Mississauga. It really helps us. Um, we really appreciate it. The new record, largest donation ever. <laughs> wow, holy jumping. Send the address. Okay. Oh, God. Do it. I will. Uh, okay. After the live. We I'll won't put it. it on the live stream, but we will. Uh, if he comes, it's amazing. Yeah. Good, Sha. That's something new, Mom. <laughs> Mom says, wow. A hundred meets for Sha. So where's the honeymoon? Um, thanks, I understand. I think no honeymoon, technically speaking. But the next country will probably be Portugal. I really want to go to Madeira, the island of Madeira. It's in Portugal. It's in, yeah. Is it in the island? It's an island of Portugal. Is it? Uh, far south. It's like near Africa. It's like the farthest one south. Oh, uh, okay. Madeira, and then Azores, and then Portugal. It's not honeymoon. Azores. It's not Azores, it's south okay. more. Because I think uh, most Portuguese people in Canada, they're from the Azores. Azores. At least the ones that I really want to go to Madeira. Yes, you guys are writing. It's, it's written Madeira, but uh, pronounced Madeira. Uh, I would love to go there. Also, it's like super nice weather now because it's the furthest part south. Yeah. Whereas in Portugal, it's still yeah. March. Still nice weather compared to Canada, but you guys are in a perpetual honeymoon most of the year. Exactly. We don't feel... Actually, our vacation is here. It's kind of funny, we're, yeah, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a wedding and then we're gonna go back to our parents' house. It's not really much of a, it's very simple, you know? <laughs> yeah. But this is our vacation. We're just sitting yeah. around, eating free food, watching Netflix. It is our it's vacation. It's very funny that in Canada we're on vacation and then out of here we're working. Mm -hmm. Totally bad. I think I, maybe most people that live abroad need, knows that feeling too. Like if you're a Brazilian that lives yes. in the US, for example. When you go back when to you Brazil. When you go back to Brazil, that's their vacation. Your vacation is at home. Yeah. And your work is somewhere else. Yes, it's exactly. very funny. It's very funny. Exactly. Some people say have a honeymoon in Romania. To me, Romania is not honeymoon anymore. It's like a home. It's like a home. Yes. Since you travel everywhere, your honeymoon has to be at home, not traveling. <laughs> True. Right, Ricardo. Totally agree. They know how to dance the hora from Craiova, so yeah. And then we'll do them a second oh, yeah. wedding. <laughs> sure, we can do the dance, remember? Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember? A little bit, and then they put their feet up, hey! <laughs> that was fun. It was tiring. Though. Actually, we've had more than a few fake weddings. In Pakistan, we had a fake wedding. Yeah. The wedding dress. Uh, Romanian tra traditional outfits. We went to, some, went to some weddings in Malaysia. Got dressed up in... Ter wedding gear. Terengganu Col Cultural Village. Yes. So we're already married like four times. <laughs> yes, actually. It's our fifth. It's my fifth marriage. Hopefully this one will last. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Good. We've been married four times already, but this is the official one. Uh... <laughs> we will do a Malaysian style wedding too. Sounds good. I think there will actually be a Indonesian ceremony. Yes. More religious in a church. When we're in Indonesia with Ivana's mom and dad and my mom and dad. That'd be nice. Yeah. Part because Ivana has a big extended family over there that can also. Uh, Two weddings, what could be better than that? <laughs> when you come to Serbia, you must learn to dance kolo. Okay, we'll do. Kolo, okay. You gotta, you gotta teach us. Sounds good. Yes. Malaysian style wedding. Ivana. Reminds me, you know what? It reminds me of Abang Ajib's wedding. Yes. Nice yes. wedding. Very nice. So nice wedding. Yeah. The last music video, Born Free, I had to put a clip of that, <laughs> of that in there. So nice memory. 
Um, you guys would love a countryside marriage here. The farmers used to give three days of party. Wow. Uh, Florin is asking, do you still have the yellow Romanian shirt? I.e. Of yes. Of course. Or it's pronounced yay? Pronounced yay. Yay. Uh, it still has. And I will come to the Indonesian wedding if invited on yes, too. Yes, for Deal. sure. Deal. Yeah, you're there. Yay. Sounds good. Oh my gosh, Shad will be in both of our weddings. <laughs> good. That makes me happy, actually. Ah, so nice. Just a simple wedding, but I'm really excited for it. It's the love and the hearts that we share, you know? Yeah. It's gonna be a simple wedding. It's not gonna be a huge. It's fancy honestly, one. it's like a room that's this size. It's not much bigger than this. The room we booked. It's like this big. You think, Ivana? Yeah. So okay. we'll over here. We'll put like a archway, like a little pop-up arch, and we drape some like sheets on it, and then there'll be flowers on it, and we'll be holding hands and saying "I love yous." And then over here, there'll be like two, two or three tables. It's more like very intimate. Very intimate. Uh, when Ivana is wearing her EA. Every Romanian would marry you. <laughs> good shirt. It's actually a really nice shirt. It fits you like well, it. and it looks interesting, and yes. it's a good memory. Good. Colo uh, is a UNESCO, UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. Mm. Uh, the South Slavic circle dance found under Bosnia, Croatia, and Serbia. Oh. We can learn. Ivana remembered the pronunciation, <laughs> confirmed more Romanian than Steve. Ah. That's a hard one. EA? What's, how is it again? It's just E and A. It's e -A. The, the, the letter E and A. The letter for me is I E. <laughs> That's why I'm more <laughs> Romanian. <laughs> True. True. I think that's how my fiance wants us to do a few people at Vamaveke during a drum and bass oh. fest. <laughs> Good that wedding. Would be cool. Good wedding. Let us know. We'll come. We'll make you a free wedding video yes. for oh, a free for a free invitation. <laughs> Make a wedding video. We'll be your videographer. Make a wedding vlog. It won't be professional vi wedding videography. It'll be wedding vlog. But we can do that. We can handle it. <laughs> That'd be fun. Bama Veke is one of the best places. I love Bama Veke. Woo! All right, everybody. Wedding tomorrow. Need some advice on the, on the vows. I was trying to crowdsource the vows, but... Uh... No, it gotta come from your heart, man. They, they know my heart, Ivana. <laughs> Okay, how long should my wedding vows be? Five minutes? Uh, no, less. Um, my sister had her wedding party at home. It was really nice. I think you guys will enjoy your small party. And I, I had, had a it. city hall wedding. I liked it. From Sylvia. Yeah, yes. we were thinking of doing a city hall wedding also. Yes. We looked at it and it, it looked manageable. Yes. But we just chose this place. It's really close to our house and it's affordable and so... Uh, we were also thinking to get married like elsewhere. But in a, in a country? it would just, no, like in another country, yeah, like yeah. an elopement. But Ooh. we want our family and friends with My us, mom would so. not approve of this idea. <laughs> hey, mom, I got married. Why did you do it? <laughs> mom, come. Okay. Uh, I'm surmising. I'm, I'm surmising. I'm not sure if it's true that if Ivana and I got, what's it called? Eloped, where we were just married somewhere else. We didn't tell you. And all of a sudden we were just married. Uh, I'm surmising that you would be upset at that. Yes, uh, uh, yes, we would like to be there, but lots of people live open. You have to live with it. But yes, we we would like to be there. This is why we came home to do this special day. It's my special day, but it's also my mom's special day. No, it's your <laughs> two special day. No, it's not my special day. Oh, look at this! You're watching the live stream right here, mom. I you am. are a 21st century technological I'm lady. The live stream. Very cool. Now, this is eggs and milk. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Oh, this is pancakes. Pancakes somewhere in the oven. And this is uh, the bacon. hot plate. Bacon. This is for bacon. And some pancakes are here. Yeah. Oh, good. You're going to go on a diet before the wedding. Show them all the chips. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys won't believe this. Ever this since is. They, since I they told my home. mom to stop buying chips. I'm on a diet for the wedding. My mom keeps buying <laughs> chips and I can't stop eating them. You won't believe this if, fridge, if this no, cupboard. If you won't believe this. If there is no chips in the fridge, they get upset. So I went shopping. It's today. not true. It's not true. Oh my gosh. And we bought You can't even believe chips. this. There's four people in this house. My mom, my dad, and me. Look at this. How am I going to maintain waistline, mom? I got, I got new dress pants. Oh my gosh. 
You've never seen so much junk food in your whole life. I thought it was maybe buy six boxes, get one free. <laughs> buy six bags and get one free or something. I, she got seven bags of chips. Oh my gosh. That's it. Every day we... Uh, when they're gone, when they're you're gone. gone. You're gone. Yes, no, fair. Stay. This is a this is a natural phenomenon of the uh, of the mother in every culture we've been to. Feeding people, overfeeding people. Eat more, eat more. Uh, good looking pancakes, mom. Those are wedding chips, Florence says. That's a few months worth of chips, says Sylvia. <laughs> It's crazy it'll last three days in this house. I'll eat half a bag every day. I don't know what. It's I'm unbelievable. You, if they're not there, they're looking for them. Uh, what would you do as a mom? You'd run out and buy more. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Still working on the cake. Trying the best. From Lisa Mano, Ivana's mama. Oh. Lisa Good. is a baker. She's still working on the cake. Trying oh. her best, she said. Oh. Uh, Lisa is a baker. She is... She is going to do I, a I, brilliant job. My baking, my, my, my wedding cake would be chocolate chip cookies, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it wouldn't happen. You're the best, Mom. Okay, enjoy cooking. We're going to go live stream a bit, and then we'll come back yes, and eat. because I'm going to make noise now. Oh, and you're going to fry bacon? Oh, you're going to mix. Okay, let me get one shot of that. That's interesting. This is this is called a blender? What's this tool called? This tool you got. It's called a blender? Hey, picked up. Mom, you're a star. Once you got in the live stream, we picked up a new member. Shout out to Rodrigo Rubio. Uh, blender, right? Just make some fluffy. Oh. It's like a, it's like a... Fluffy scrambled eggs, baby. What could be better than that? All right, everybody. That was a nice intermission, a nice interlude. Whoa, Ivana's, Ivana's partying right now. Look at this lady go. Punch it. Ivana, you got to open one bottle pre-wedding. <laughs> Pre-wedding. Pre-wedding bottle of champagne. You got to do it. We got, uh, we got five bottles of champagne. So we can, we can, as the rappers like to say, pop some bottles. You know what I mean? Uh, we did pick up one new member, which is very exciting. Everybody, I'm sure, can give a nice jet lag warriors welcome to Rodrigo, Rodrigo Rubio. Rodrigo. Shout out. Welcome. Uh, question from Andre. What did Steve say to Ivana on their wedding day? I'll love you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'll love you through thick and thin, through rich and poor, as long as you both, as long as we both shall live, or until you hide my chess board. <laughs> uh, good. Oh, maybe I will reference chess in my. Bro, I gotta give a speech. <whistles> Should I also prepare a speech for like during the lunch later on? Thank you, everybody. Like? Sure, yeah, sure. Oh, I don't want to do that. For our guests. That would be nice. Two speeches tomorrow. Vows. Mm -hmm. And then more of a stand-up comedy. I'll do some riffing. I'll do some jokes, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, kidding. yeah, Nice. I'm kidding. No. I like it. <laughs> jokes? Yeah. Oh, gosh. All moms are the same from Unicorn. Yes, true. Always want you to be happy and healthy and always want to feed you too much. <laughs> Someone said... It's a few months worth of chips. That's Sylvia said. Those, that's going to be three no. days worth of chips. Yeah, three days. <laughs> Every day after dinner, we play games. It's a nice game. We have a board game called Block Us. Nice little board game. Ivana, by the way, is a grand champion of the game. She wins every night. No. But as we play our video, uh, our Not board games, night. we eat chips. And it's pretty fun. Yeah. Although I need to really... Get healthy for this wedding. I need to hydrate today, get the dry skin cured up, you know? Moisturize, shave the head, <laughs> do some squats, you know? Get the stomach oh, flat, boy. do some burpees, you know? <laughs> oh, gosh. I was going to show you guys my suit today. I thought that would be a nice thing. You want to say, don't show them, save it for the wedding. I think you guys might have seen it in the last video, but it's blue and... Looks very nice. Arr. Uh, I'm excited for the wedding. We ha I have not seen Ivana's dress. It is not a full wedding dress, like a gown, but it is a beautiful white dress. We might do some kind of reveal where she walks down and I see her for the first yeah. time. It's a bit cheesy. No. It's a bit corny. No, it's not. Everyone does it. Or, <laughs> or they walk down the aisle, but we're not doing that. Yeah, true. But that's a new trend now. It's the reveal. The, the wedding dress reveal. Yeah. Nah, keep it as a surprise. We'll see you later. True. 
Uh, some push-ups, pump up the chest. Yeah, I gotta pump up the chest. I gotta do some squats. Get the get the gluteus maximus poking out in that suit suit pants. Why did the bride wear sneakers to her wedding under her wedding dress in case she needs to make a run for it? <laughs> Andre is on with the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be wearing boots. Boots. Yeah. Ooh, for kicking butt. It's a winter wedding. It's a winter wedding after all. Can you guys hear the music in the background? I think it's just a nice volume. Yeah. It really has an ambiance to it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ivana. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Practice your vows. If you if you were to say a vow right now, what would you say? No, no, it'll be a surprise. Steve, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Woohoo! The first half an hour will be so nervous and awkward, then I'll, then, I'll, then that'll be over, and then I'll be chilling, having lunch. Have a beer, have, a, have some champagne, and then it'll be nice and yeah. relaxed. Well, mostly the officiant is there to guide us, you know? Yeah, we so. got an officiant named Bill. Good officiant name. Yeah. Bill's going to guide our, our wedding. He's going to say... Tomorrow I, we I have, now pronounce you man and wife. And tomorrow we have daylight savings time. So hopefully everyone will be there at the right time. Yeah, if you can believe it, the day of our wedding is the day everyone in Canada changes their clocks by one hour. Yeah. Not everyone in Canada. Everyone in Ontario changes their clocks by one hour. So at, le at least... Ontario? It's not every province in Canada. Mm. Some of them don't do it. How about the States? I'm not sure. You guys have daylight savings in the States? Yeah. Snow is a pain, but it does make for good pictures. True. Actually, tomorrow they're calling for some light flurries, which is pretty good. It's mm. going to snow sure. a bit. Good for photos. I'm yeah. okay with it. I'm excited to marry you, Ivana. I wish nobody else was there, though, because I'm nervous for those people to see me. <laughs> oh, they do have the daylight savings time. Uh -huh. Is it all tomorrow in Romania? Ours is like, tomorrow. Is it same time? I don't know. Yeah, ours is tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure at least one person is going to show up an hour late. <laughs> probably one of my friends, to be honest. I'll probably know which friend it'll be. <laughs> probably Evan, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think daylight savings is tomorrow in Romania. Maybe you guys do a different year. We do it spring and fall. So spring forward goes forward an hour, fall back one hour. Mm -hmm. Some people want to abolish it because it's kind of, uh, in the UK, it's in two weeks, oh, 26 March. Okay. okay. I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing life. Thank you, Natalia. Hi, thank you, Natalia. Thank you. We appreciate you. We appreciate all of our Jet Fam Ultras. <laughs> Meech Ultras. <laughs> Actually, next weekend, we're going to a Toronto FC game. Oh, yeah. Toronto Football Club in the stadium. Yeah. Home game versus Miami. Uh, it could it's be funny interesting. funny that it's called football in the, in the team name. It's funny. It's called Toronto Football Club, TFC, and yet nobody calls it football. Everyone calls yeah. it soccer. Yeah. Sort of funny. But, uh, oopsies. But, um, um, could be fun for you guys to watch. You guys are all... Football fans. The Meech Ultras are coming out yeah, in full support right now. Meech, 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 Meech. Uh, Zaki says, where can we send any gifts? No gifts required. Only gift required is your support of the channel. We don't we don't have any gifts or any registry because we don't need a toaster or a microwave or a... Yeah. <laughs> so we are... Hopefully no one brings us toaster. <laughs> one of my friends will, for sure. One of my friends will be like, hey, I got you a, a, a panini press. He'll be like, thanks, oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> no gifts required. Thanks for the idea, though, Zaki. But uh, be free. Save your money and live better. What kind of gifts do they give you for weddings in, like, Romania or Brazil? Or You sure you don't need a George Foreman grill? Actually, <laughs> if you're going to get one of those, just send it. I'll use it one day. The good old George Foreman grill. It'll be sitting in the basement for, like, 10 years. With the foot, you hit the ball. Good logic, football. Can I give 10 bags of Lay's? Do not send any chips to this house. We are st we're overstocked already. Actually, you can send them because they don't go bad. They're non-perishable. We can eat it next week. <laughs> <laughs> My mom says, oh, you guys. She's in the kitchen uh, joking around. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. When I was a kid, I think we ate chips. It's like a, That was our go-to snack. So my mom is reliving the old... Um... Oh, in Romania, it's mostly money. They give stuff. Maybe 30 plus years ago. Uh-huh. I think usually the gift was different because back in the day, it was like, you're married now, you get to move in together. Yeah, but... You, you weren't living you together. You into a new house together. Yeah, so but if you're now, moving into a new house, you can give yeah. them stuff to furnish it. Whereas now, most, most people... live together before Finishing marriage. each other's sentences. Yeah. Did you see that? 
Uh, some people I know, Nowadays. they were together for 11 years before they were married. <laughs> Extreme cases. Oh, my God. Hi, Steve and Ivana. Best wishes from Brazil. Have a uh, wonderful wedding. Love you. Thank you, Muito Rodrigo. Muito bom from our new member, Rodrigo Rubio. Muito bom. Thank you. Please don't burn your foot on the grill. Uh, the office. <laughs> right. Love amazing, it. amazing joke. Good joke, Madeline. Love it. Uh, Matt, money in the envelope is Romanian. Yeah, same with Canada. Most people bring money in the envelope. Yes, nowadays. Nowadays, yeah. because you're not going to buy them. They're not furnishing a whole house for the first time. I can't confirm. My mother-in-law has a source that she buys expired chips from, <laughs> and they're still fine. Those are some discount wow. expired chips. Are they still crispy? Then they're still good. Yeah. Still crunchy, still yummy. True. Don't mind I think it. I think it can't go bad. It's airtight nah. and it's 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 all full of stuff anyway. Good. Twenty guests with the same idea. A set means seven. Ah. They're always six. Oh, crystal glasses. Exactly. So we're gonna get twenty times six crystal glasses. We're gonna get hundred and twenty crystal glasses. Great. <laughs> uh, they can't expire because they're not real food. True. Alexandra's right. Oh, chips. Yeah. Chips Makes can't. Sense. Chips can't go bad because they were never good. Yes. Although they're so good. We were together seven years before the wedding from Andre. Fair. Uh, that's about normal, I bet. I wonder what the average relationship is before wedding nowadays. Longer than before. I think before was like a year. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's faster now. You think it's faster now? Except us. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, the, we're bucking the trend. We're slow motion. I don't know. Um, fair. Same in Serbia. We just need money. Same. I love this chat right now. It's it's a good talk about chips and weddings. It's a good mix of uh, <laughs> comments coming in. Oh, yo, yo. Well, there you have it, guys. Maybe we'll do an hour. I got 20 more minutes or something. Yeah. Reading some wedding traditions from around the world. Okay. In Armenia, the couple needs to balance bread on their shoulders to ward off evil. Wow. That is something new. Okay. Uh, there are How some about in ones. Pakistan? What's the wedding traditions in Pakistan? It's a good question. Yeah, I want to I know. feel like a Pakistani. Or in the UK, I suppose. feel like in Pakistan they might have a huge wedding, because the families are bigger. Yes. A lot of families have six kids and forty cousins, so I think you might have a four hundred person oh, wedding yes. in Pakistan. Yes, and they have like different events every day, so and it's kind of like a four days long party. Sounds right, and I bet you food is a main feature of a Pakistani wedding because food yeah. is a very powerful culture. True. So it's like, you know, some huge amount of chicken karahi or something, and they, and they you know, beef, yeah. you know. Um, most of our parents were high school or university sweethearts. True. I've been with my lady for 10 years. Times change. Yeah, my parents were high school sweethearts. Yeah. That's true. But Time back then, changed. things happened faster because my parents, um, by the time they were like 25, were married, kids, mortgage. Mm -hmm. 25 years old. Ivana and I are 30-something, and we are unmarried. Oh, my God. No mortgage, no kids, no job, no future. Oh my God! Are you crazy, Mum? Are you crazy right now? Are you Bre doing? You are, are. You are crazy, Before Mum. Before breakfast. You. I can eat chips in the morning, Mum. I get married tomorrow. I gotta be mature. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mum. <sighs> Your mom is funny. <laughs> so good. Yeah, of course. I'm not eating them in the live stream. They're gonna judge me. I have a reputation to uphold, Mom. Oh my gosh, chips for breakfast. So good, though. Um, the and ketchup chips, too. Ketchup chips. The, the, best. the best chips ever. Ketchup chips. The Pakistan user, uh, YouTuber, RHS, mm -hmm. um, got married and did a wedding series. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. I would like to see him. He's this prolific YouTuber. So good. Yeah. RHS. And his other channel is called... Um, his other channel about biking. Anyway. No, super nice guy. We met him in Pakistan. Yeah. Super nice guy. Uh, super, super nice guy. Will you do the Cotton Eye Joe dance? I don't think so. What's that? Yeah, I'd have been for Cotton Eye Joe. I've been buried a long time ago. You know? And you swing your feet. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. We will do no dancing. We we're not going to do a first dance or a walk down the aisle. It's a very um, simple wedding. Pakistani weddings are big and lavish. Lots of guests and lots of food. I believe it. My wife and I were university sweethearts from Andre. Nice. Very nice. Same like Ivana and I. Aww. Um, in Brazil, it's common to give the guests this little cake filled with toite leche called ben casados. Well married or good match. Ben casados. Something like that. Fair. I can't believe I'm eating chips right now. It's unbelievable. You are loved and love freely. That is the best achievement for 30-year-olds. Bro! Oh. 
so good from Vanessa. We live a life with enthusiasm, optimism, and gratitude. <laughs> what could be better than that? Oh, you guys are the best. By nice the way. comment from Vanessa. By yeah. the way, who's eating chips right now at ten o'clock in the morning? Us. Mmm. Almost eleven now. These are so good chips. <laughs> I do feel guilty though. Mmm. 11 kids would be best. Hope about him. Yvonne and I are gonna have lots of kids. We're gonna start in the next year or two and we're gonna bing, 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 knock them off. Every year, two, three kids. Mm -hmm. Maybe four or four, four or five kids every no year. No way. <laughs> no way. Um, I'm Googling for a chips cake recipe. Oh my God. Potato chip wedding cake? Yo, Ivana, look it up. <laughs> Puvilletti are better than chips. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Ketchup chips by Lay's are the greatest snack food in the history of snack foods. Mm -hmm. I've said it once and I will say it again. Do you have godfathers in Romania is a thing? Yes, when Ivana had kids, we will have godparents mm -hmm. for the kid. It'll be a couple that we trust and know who to be. Can you can you guess? I trust your sister. Mmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Maybe Ken. I was thinking Josh, but Josh has five kids already. <laughs> He's gonna be like Steve, really? <laughs> <laughs> would he be happy or would he be burdened? I think he's got five kids. I think he's going to say, Steve, because we have three or something. If you have eight kids all of a sudden, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a whole commitment. For you, in Romania, we have the wedding and the kids can be another one. I think it's uh, a cake. Wedding cake and a kid's cake. Cake or godfather? Oh, godfather. Oh, for you. Oh, no, Andre. In... in Canada, the godfather is just for the kids. Yeah. So it's like if Yvonne and I, something happened to us, the kids would go live with them. That's the idea. In Philippines, they release white doves. Ooh. That would be cool for you two. Presumably, you have to catch them in the first place. <laughs> Why are we going to get doves? White doves. <laughs> Anyone remembers Coliva from Florin, of course. Of course. Very nice. Uh, very nice cake, actually. Like like Oat. wheat. Oats, oats cake. Yeah. Nice. Quite good. We need to make a petition for meat flavored chips. That would be good. That would be good. Uh huh. Yeah. Actually, a good idea. Yeah. Would eat. The doves would freeze here. Yeah. <laughs> They'd fly out and sink. Dove. There won't, there won't be many traditions at our wedding, I guess. We don't have such a of traditional wedding culture in Canada. No. Something old, something new, something borrow, something blue, and that's it. White dress. Yeah. So, I mean, in Indonesia, we don't really have any traditions. Really? Well, maybe the really traditional ones, but. Uh huh. Normally, we just do like the westernized or modern weddings now. Uh huh. Whoa. Whoa. In Serbia, the man shot with a gun, an apple, on top of the house. He shoots a gun into an apple that's on top of the house. How did these traditions start? What is it for? What does that That's funny, right? Signify. Man, these are good chips at 10 o'clock in the morning. From Vanessa. My birthday on the 16th. Ooh. I'll, be, I'll be having cachet and celebrating your wedding too. <laughs> awesome. In Russia, the groom must go to the bride's parents' home on the morning of the wedding and prove his worth by paying a ransom or dancing and singing in the street until the family has had enough. That's good. You gotta put a show on it there in the, in the snow. Wow. And if the show's not going too well, you gotta, it might, it might be half an hour long or an hour. <laughs> I wonder how these visions start. That can't be safe to shoot a gun. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, our wedding won't be so traditional. We won't be shooting guns into apples. We won't be dancing in the street. We will just be simple. Intimate celebration. Okay, 
got this red powder. So good chips, guys. The oh red my gosh. powder. They're poison, but amazing. Tasty I'm poison. Slowly die. Ivana, it's your wedding tomorrow. Let's think about life. <laughs> All right, there you have it, everybody. Uh, maybe we'll go to an hour or so, and mm -hmm. then we'll be finished. I can't believe I have coffee and chips in my mouth right now. I need to brush my teeth so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll have pancake and eggs. Bacon. Good breakfast. Mm -hmm. I think today we're going to go skating at City Hall and maybe post a video on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I might post a video tomorrow by now. Sure. You will. There's an outdoor rink at City Hall. We can go skating around in a circle and holding hands. You skate? No. Why not? They don't rent skates, right? They don't rent over there, no. You don't skate? Have you ever tried? Okay. You don't like it. Okay, fair. Do you have onion chips in Calif in Canada? Um we have Sour cream and onion. Sour cream and onion. Pretty good. Yeah. But nothing beats the ketchup. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm eating chips right now. Ketchup is the best. So good. The apple is shot so that the groom can prove his abilities by shooting a rifle. Okay. In order to show the newlyweds that he is capable of guarding mm. and protecting his wife and future family. Pretty good. So they put an apple on top of the house and mm -hmm. you shoot it off. And if you miss, you just shot a bullet into your own house. <laughs> what happened if he missed, by the way? Then he, then the wedding's That's off. That's a big pressure, no? That's a big pressure. Not only that, you, you got a whole... You think you're nervous for tomorrow? Imagine you're getting all, married in Serbia. I have to, I have to shoot. <laughs> That's a big pressure. Maybe no skating before the wedding. Watch out for accidents. I just not injured myself skating around. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one is relevant. In Scotland, the bride and groom are captured by their friends the far before covered in everything from ash to flower and fathers and prayed around town. Wow. Okay, they're captured by their friends then, covered in everything from ash to flower and feathers and paraded around town. How did these traditions start? I know, what's the point of that? Funny, right? And also, I'm wondering if you guys have bachelor and bachelorette party stack. Oh, in Canada, like usually that? there's a bachelor party and bachelorette party, which is the day before the wedding. Mm -hmm. You go out and party it up because it's your last day as a free person. We didn't do this. So today would be my bachelor party. I would go out and get totally drunk or something, but we're not doing this. So. Yeah. You know, it's kind yeah. of a, that's a young person tradition, I think. It's only in Canada or in Romania? Has I wonder. In Romania, there's a bunch of crazy traditions too. I believe it. Uh, Alexandru wants me to do the, the Scottish one. Steve's grandpa was Scottish. True. My blood is Scottish, but I will not be paraded around town in, in flower and feathers <laughs> and ash. No, no bachelor oh, party. Oh, no bachelor party there. In Romania. I don't think the bachelor party is popular in Romania. Okay, in Canada it is. I would like to thank whoever gifted me a membership so I can wish you two the best of luck for your wedding. Oh, thanks, Mickey wow, Rambo. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks for watching our live streams. Yeah. I think when someone gifts membership, the person who receives the gift is someone who watches a lot. Mm -hmm. It's not just a random selection of whoever's in the chat. I think it's people right. who watch a lot. So if you were gifted, you've probably been watching a lot. And for that, we thank you. Uh, thank you. Mickey Rambo. Mickey and the gifter. I feel like he's from Ireland because he's got the four leaf clover there. For, the, for luck. For luck. And also Mickey is a very Irish name. Is it? I think so. Hmm. Thanks, Mickey. Anyway. Um, why did the bride and groom decide to have a beach wedding? Because they wanted to be able to say they were surely in love. <laughs> That's a horrible joke. <laughs> um, not bad. I, I might, uh, I might use it at my wedding. Then we all need to gather from all over the world and do super wedding with all the traditions. That would be wild. If had we should do a series. Wedding, wedding traditions tradition. around the world. Yeah. That's a good idea. So what we have to do is we have to get ourselves invited to local weddings, every country. And yeah. do a series on their unique wedding tradition. Mm -hmm. Put out the feelers. We're doing... That's a good idea. 
We're doing a series on unique wedding traditions. We want to come to your wedding. We just shoot the video the first hour of the wedding. Then we're done with it. And then we just party in a wedding the rest of the day. Yeah. Fantastic idea. I love that. Good business idea. You got friends getting married soon? Let's tell them to invite us. Yes. <laughs> if you have anyone you know having a traditional wedding, we will fly to their country. As long as we get the invite to the wedding. Mm -hmm. And we'll make them a lovely uh, wedding vlog. <laughs> Bachelor party, yeah, not in Romania so much. Uh, who decided the menu for tomorrow? Uh, the restaurant has options, and Ivana chose. Yeah. Simple food, nice, nice food. Hey, that's an interesting one. Showing weddings of different cultures, nice one. Mm -hmm. This is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, if you have any friends getting married, let them know about us. We will, uh, we will do a wedding series. That's a good series. Yeah. First hour of the wedding in Pakistan will be empty. No one turns up to at least three hours after the really? official start time. <laughs> That's funny. Probably in Brazil too. Probably in Brazil too. <laughs> I think it'll be easy to arrange that. Ivana, I think you really come onto something with this wedding series. We should do that. We, we've got to find we've got to find weddings to go to in every country, which is yeah. the hard part. Well, if you can find the wedding, the the video would be good to watch. Yeah. Who doesn't want to see a wedding video? Especially when you see a guy shooting bullets into his own house, trying to hit apples. That's amazing. Oh, Serbia. Come on, unicorn. <laughs> that would be something special. You have, a fr you have friends getting married, please. Or I in Scotland, someone's covered in feathers walking mm -hmm. around town. Or in Russia, the guy's singing in the street trying to impress his bride's parents. Brazil would be the same for sure. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's end up. Oh my God, I know, I'm, I'm trying to get away from those chips right now. I almost finished a whole bowl of chips at 10.30 in the morning. Oof, maybe someone needs to get married purely for your series. That's right, we'll do a show wedding. Do a fraudulent wedding. Yvonne, come stand up. We're gonna do the big finish, okay? By the way, nice photo of my family, no? Oh, so nice. That would be nice. Or you could just get married in every country. The thing is, we don't, have, we don't have guests in every country. Guess and budget. <laughs> Guess and budget. To be invited to a wedding in every country is a good idea. Yeah. A sincere wedding. A uh, wedding. That would be something special. All right, there you have it, everybody. Let's say your last words, Ivana. This is your last words on the live stream as a single woman. Ooh. Would you like me to leave the room so you can express regret? No, no regret, man. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like I'm married already. Good. And I feel like I have kids already. Four of them. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? You saying I'm as immature as four children? No, come on, come on, huh? All right, guys, thank you for all of your support. Next time we thank talk to you. Thank you for coming and joining us today. Next time we talk to you. Steve will have a ring on his finger. By the way, I think in Brazil, the guys also get a ring during the proposal. Oh, um, really? The guys and the girls. Here, it's just the girls. But in Brazil, I, I believe so. I believe you get the men also get a ring during the proposal. All right. I saw it on Love is Blind. The upcoming, the upcoming week. Tomorrow is Sunday. We may or may not release a video. If the wedding, it takes a lot out of us, there'll be no video tomorrow. Next week, we've got the Mississauga, Ontario video, my hometown video. We got a wedding. We got the wedding video. Yeah. We have a wedding music video in the works for the song Beauty in the World by Macy Gray. I might change the song. I'm not in love with this song, but it kind of works. We'll see. Um, so next week, maybe Sunday video, Mississauga, Ontario video, Pakistani food video. We'll mm -hmm. do that. We haven't filmed it yet. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. And wedding stuff. And then probably a country reveal once we get our stuff figured out. So this is the official Later Skaters last time as a single man on the live stream. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Spam the Meech emoji. Thank you guys Stay so much. Stay tuned for the Later Skaters emoji. And, um, and that's all I can say. And we'll be Mr. and Mrs. the next time Mr. we see Mr. and you. Mrs. Oh my gosh, let's practice, let's practice, let's practice. Do you, Ivana Weevil, take this man? Are you laughing, Ivana? You can't be laughing. It's a very sincere moment. Do you, 
You can't be laughing. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna practice for the rest of the day and then we will see you guys <laughs> next week on the live stream. It'll be Sunday and we'll be wearing rings and we'll be wearing smiles. I wanna end it exactly at one hour. Perfect. Later everybody. Love you.